All right, so let's take a look at Tuesday. So this is the sixth. Now this is gold. Now with gold, the market broke down, came back up on the astro hours to the weekly pivot and sold down. Remember I marked in this level yesterday. It's 1923-27 zone. And I said this is a zone the market should come back into because this is where they broke out. So we should have some kind of a pull down into here. Now remember, today is a Wednesday. If you check your swing days, I posted on Monday. Today is a swing day for gold, SP500 and Bitcoin. So if somebody wants to buy gold, this is going to be the zone. And these are going to be the hours. Now I've already posted the hours in the members area. So if the price comes into this zone or even slightly lower, into this zone here let's do this the purple zone okay kind of like let's see into that zone there 1915 then once you get to those levels market might be looking for a swing personally i like um the levels today it could be around lunchtime, okay, around 10 past 2, that's 1. After that, we should have a disruptive move in the market, okay, or it's going to be within the morning session once the market comes down here around 11.30 to 11.50. Okay, so until 11.50, it's going to be a bit um, like sharp moves happening until 11.50, so I wouldn't really muck around with it until 11.50 and just, you know, let it go. All right. So let it come down. This is the level we talked about before. So no surprises here. If you followed it down, that's your zone. Or slightly lower, it could even come back down into this zone. So, you know, no real need to mess with it until, like I said, this dangerous period, like 11.30 to 11.50, should give us a level where the market should kind of like end that energetic move all right like i said you could also wait for 10 past two because that's when we should have some kind of a change in the market as well we should be followed up until 3 15 in any case okay and then we've got the new york session until 5 50 it's going to be pretty disruptive okay and that should take us to a target in the evening um, which should be like 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock. We should like move into those targets. So by the time we get to 10, um, 11.45, we should be at targets. So I already made a note of those. You can follow that through. So if I take this into a 15-minute chart, you can see there's room to dip down here. So no real need to rush it. Just wait for the market to give you a sign of a reversal. You can also go into a smaller time frame and then work off it or you can see here that let me go back to the one hour chart i'm just going to show you something for those of you who are using the atam strategy if you're using it you could always come into the one hour chart once you understand your zones where you want to get in see how this is a zone here because there was a gap there let's just get in there back again now you can see there's a big room here right which we shouldn't really worry about because let the market come to you at the right hours. Okay. So here, if I make this a little bigger, if you're using your ATAM strategy, what you can always do is going long. If you're going to be a buyer. Okay. And if you think, you know, because it's the swing day, which is a Wednesday, we're either going to have a big push down or we're going to have a push where the market should reverse. Now, first level for that is 29.81 which is 1922, all right? So that's one zone there, which is why I got 1922 here, as you can see, all right? So the market can come down here. Anything below that is also a good level to be going long. You can see the market can also go long at this 21 level here, which is 1916, all right? So the market can dip down and it's fine for it to dip down. If it makes a sharp sudden move down, then we're probably going to go up at the astro hours because at least it'll want to fill in the gaps. Okay, so that's all good. And like I said, until 11.50, I'm expecting some sharp moves in the market. So 
no problem at all. Let's take a look. Now, if you're not using your ATA, I'm just note those levels down, okay? Or note these zones down. You see, got they got 19.15 here, and this 19.05 zone here. All right, this green zone. Here. So if the market is making a sudden move down, they're probably looking for a place to go long and reverse. All right, so let's take a look at let's take a look at SP500. Here we are. Now SP500 is also a swing day today, so we're either going to have a push down. As you can see, the market's selling off. And since last week, also last week, I was saying we should be selling the highs. You should, in fact, get ready to sell on Monday as well. So there you go. All right. So on the weekly, have we made a target? Okay, so that's nice. As you can see, right from the zone there, it's good to see. And then here we've got the 15-minute chart. Now this is... Okay. This is how the hours were. I didn't put in today's hours. Let's do that. Okay, so here we are. Now, these were Astro hours yesterday. Okay, right underneath the opening. Okay, so it was not a bad place to be selling at all. Market broke down nicely. Retraces back up into the opening at the Astro hours. These are the hours and the price is matching. You can see the daily pivot was also there yesterday. So selling those levels. Once again, it makes a push, comes back to the retracement at an astro hour as well. That's also all good to push down. Now, remember, we're selling on this one. So our bias is to the downside. And it is a swing day. So if it's a swing day, it's highly likely we're going somewhere. On the weekly, we're right on this level here. But because it's a sell-off, okay, and we're expecting the market to go down, you know, what can I tell you? Okay, so let's just refresh this. So I wouldn't really stand in front of it trying to go long. First of all, wait for the New York session. Okay, like I said, that 5.50, 6 o'clock, until then we're going to have a disruptive move in the market. So you just need to wait for this one a little bit. If you want to enter the trade today, like I said, um, 2 p.m., 10 past 2 to 3.15 is not a bad idea. The market might then push up in order to go to a place to sell okay or what it might do is that it might do a sudden move down in order to go up okay so be mindful because we're going to have a funny move until 550 and you know changes in the market will probably come around that um around this you know after six okay this is why i've got the hours here so just be mindful on that one as the market is shorting, we want us to short it, no problem. So if it goes back up again, you're going to be looking for short positions. But Wednesday, like I said, is a spot where the market might look for a push up because I'll tell you why as well. Let's tighten this up a little bit. Okay. You'll probably want to clean out the liquidity here. So going back up into the daily pivot today may not be a bad idea from the lows from the side of the market otherwise you know the market is still down we want to be sellers you can wait for the market to come up to sell as well which is a safer option okay because the market is trending down so let it come up into the daily pivot zone to sell off or look for those hours and the right prices where the market took off before do your setup for example let's say it's 2 p.m market goes up on a smaller time frame pull back you can go long if there's a change of character or a break of structure going up into that side there because we should break that to clean up and come into the daily pivot to close the gap before any selling happens off let's take a look at the euro dollar with the euro dollar as well let's take a look i didn't put the astro hours in yesterday you guys already can do that so i don't want to do it for everything um basically we're here okay also yesterday let's take a look at yesterday yesterday i said this might break down as well so we have to be careful here as you can see why because this so we're expecting the market to come down remember we're short on this so every time the market goes up selling happens 
what I don't recommend is buying on a um, selling on a support. So I said yesterday, you know, selling here may be tricky because it's where the market bought, but you can see it's just breaking down. So we're even more, you know, sluggish. So by the time this sells off again, what we might want to do is wait for the market to come up to sell again. Okay, which should be the case. Okay, because with the euro dollar, like other stuff like on the SP500 as well, we're looking to go short, all right? So every time the market goes up, we're selling, we want to come down here. Also, if you check your weekly chart, remember I said this will break, guys. So be mindful, this is going to break, okay? We marked in this level way, way before, okay? So we said we'd come here, so that trend line broke, and here we are on this line, okay? So this should really be pushing further down and down. We should go below that before any buying happens. Remember, this is a five wave up move. So we should have a deep ABC kind of coming down into this zone. We might just, you know, just come down like that in the daily like this. And once we come into that zone, that's where you want to be buying again. All right. So, you know, just having the market push down so boom 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 and then we're going to go long and on the weekly that should be the zone there okay this is where we want to get to okay so we'll see how that pans out obviously this is the weekly so it's going to take a bit of time but spring is when this might happen and when it does we should be on top of it let's take a look at Dow Jones, NASDAQ, and Bitcoin. Right, here we've got Dow Jones. Let's take a look at the daily. All right, so here we're on the target zone. Nice and easy. Remember, we noted all these targets on the weekly as well. If you take a look. I said on the weekly we're in no man's land, but we want to be selling at resistance levels. Also, I said look out for a double top situation, but I said this might have already been done here. Okay. But selling is the way we want to go this month. Remember, we're looking for levels where the market will start a down push. All right. This month is the month. So whenever it's going up to a spot, we want to be selling it off. And I think the environment is going to support us with that as well, especially with, um, yeah, astrologically, we've got support for that. So any move up, obviously, we're waving, right? In the market so if the market goes back up we'll be looking for sell locations now because sp500 is a swing day today that might also influence this also we've got a bit of gap here as you can see so the market should go up to a level but let's do this okay but we still have room to come down okay so if we go up you want to be looking for sell levels which could be here on the daily or the weekly, because there's a bit of gap here, there's a bit of gap here, there's a bit of gap here, okay? We're either gonna make that swing to a level where the market will retest some high and then sell off, or we're gonna muck around here, come down and then do that, okay? So whatever you do though, it doesn't matter, okay? Obviously, I wouldn't stand in front of it and think about a buy move just yet until we get to at least 42, which is, 34,514. So 34,154. 34,154 is way, way down there. Okay, so I'm not even going to put that in there. Could that be right? 42, 34,514. Not 154,514. Yeah, so this is fine. Okay, so this could also be a target for us here. 514. It's not a problem. At all. There we go. All right. So... What to do with the Dow Jones? If you're going to go long, I'd be very, very careful because we've got target down here. If you're going to short it, do it definitely above this level, above the high of Asia, because this is probably going to break out where 
it's probably going to break out to push up okay and retest the levels where they sold off this is the spot they sold off at so the market coming up into this zone before I sell off again is logical okay you see how the market sold off here breaking this also even slightly higher in this zone here all right so don't rush it's a bit in the middle of nowhere i wouldn't go against the, the the market falling trying to buy this okay just let it go wait until at least two o'clock for this one to see what might happen okay uh, and even after that we've got like i said a volatile period today until 5 50. so the market may be you know um choppy and violent from 315 towards 550 my time okay so relax let's take a look at nasdaq nasdaq as well here we are now with nasdaq i said we did have levels to sell on the highs as well but if you also sold yesterday if you take a look at your swing days for nasdaq we've got monday and friday okay so today's wednesday that's your tuesday let's take a look okay monday was the fourth all right so that's your monday there the market makes a high and they sell off okay so monday was a swing day that was a good swing day there and then as you can see it's come back to retest that now we've got friday so the market can either push down until friday or we're going to go higher to make a sell point so let's take a look at the daily to see if we've made any targets here now on the daily you see we've got levels down there as well 55 which is 15387 today so 15387 is going to be a target let's get in there 15387 okay so down here all right so this is looking okay on the daily that's it okay on the weekly we're right on that line remember last week i said we could sell on this line not a problem the market's doing that so no big deal what we want to do is be careful because with the nasdaq there's a gap here okay so i'm still expecting a kind of like a sudden move to push up make a double top and then sell off okay and it, that would really screw everybody here as well okay because the market is like undecided here you can see okay but we are going to fall down because we're going to cover this and we're going to come all the way into this we're going to probably even go lower okay if i squeeze this a little bit you can also see how this is going to work out okay we should be breaking down and coming at least into this zone that is at least okay so selling the highs i think is the way to go even if we make a higher high to make a double top here which is possible this month because this month is like i said is a place where the market want to start swinging from the highs wherever you see a high on the pst it's sellable so i've got 63 here as well which is 15,596 on the daily 15,596 is going to be here 15,596 pretty much there okay so the market can come there on the weekly Okay, we're done on the daily. Any spot up there at the top, I think is okay for us to sell again. Okay, so that's that level for today. Remember, this is the daily. So if we get up there, you can also sell. Don't muck around in the mid zone. If you want to be a buyer, you got to wait for the 15,387. Okay, but you know, how smart is it to buy against the highs? I don't know. So because that's a target that's a target so the market can be a bit tricky and as you know nasdaq is on steroids 
Okay, so we've got to be careful with this one. And yesterday also, if you take a look at your astro hours, it's a 10 past 10 here. So the market you know, like made that target yesterday. And if you take a look at the lows here, where the market made that little push up, and this zone was also astro hours. 4.15 is there. Okay, so we had 4.15 to 5 o'clock which is there all right so between 4 15 and 5 o'clock market buying from the lows going into that high was also what we we're expecting so that's all fine and we also had 745 remember which should be let's see that's 645 745 is what there okay there you go all right so that was also not a bad day at all okay but remember we've got a bit of room to come down here so be careful. Bitcoin selling the highs as usual is the way we want to go. Okay, just be careful here. Like I always say, looks like this is going to break. Okay, I told you you could sell when the market closes the gap here. So if you did, you should be okay. So here, as you can see, the market is in a sandwich zone. Selling today at 41 or 44 looks good. And that's 26,086 and 25,911. Downstairs, you got 30 as a target, which is 24,960. Okay, so this is on the daily. So, nine it's going to be around there. All right, so as you can see, that's not a bad spot. And selling the highs is also not a bad spot. What was it? 26.90 is there. Okay. So the first spot is 41. 25.911. is there. All right. As you can see, so it's like pretty much on the dot. Selling at Astro Hours at the highs where they sold off before. It's not a bad idea at all to push it down and we've got room to come down and remember you guys know my opinion with bitcoin going down okay so we shall we should come to those 24s by the time it's spring we might be back you know all the way down into the 20s because you know there's room to come down okay there's room to come down 